So our genome is made of DNA, the molecule of life, the stuff that encodes all the instructions that make us what we are. And about 8% of that DNA comes from viruses. So when some viruses infect our cells, they will cut our DNA and insert a piece of their own into the gap. Those viral sequences then become copied whenever our cells copy their own genomes. So now you've got an embryo whose every cell contains viral DNA. And these sequences can then pass from one generation to the next until they become permanent part of our cells. They are fixtures of our genomes as much as any of our own genes are. This process takes millions of years. At that point, they become known as endogenous retroviruses or ERVs. So there's been a lot of debate about what ERVs or ERVs are actually doing, whether they are just passive stowaways in our genome or whether they actually contribute to the evolution of our genes. This new study from Edward Trong and colleagues found that herbs have shaped the evolution of the human immune system. So when we sense an infection, our cells trigger this huge cascade of genes, one switching on the next, switching on the next. And that leads to an immune response that helps to fight off the infection. So you can think of this as like a massive Rube Goldberg machine. What the herbs have done is to add new components to the machine or to hook one part up with another. So you're rewiring the immune system and changing which genes get switched on at what point. We think of viruses as things that uh, make us sick, but we know that some viruses have contributed to the evolution of our immune systems, the very thing that's meant to stop us from becoming sick. <laughs>